Hey, evening everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a reaction to our Philadelphia Flyers falling 3-2 to two to the Pittsburgh Penguins in a tilt that they honestly didn't really even deserve to win, and Carter Hart is the reason that they got them into the overtime and were able to pick up that point. This is one of those games where the stats, just looking at the pure numbers, are kind of deceiving. Because if you look at the pure numbers, the Flyers outshot them by two shots, 38-36. to 36. But as the great um, Keith Jones said during the broadcast, after the end of the first period, that tail end, the high-octane chances were not really there. And then after Jake Gensel was able to get that ridiculous bounce goal that he was able to score on when he lost the puck and then was still able to get it there, we then have a weird bounce where Latang hits it off of somebody, is able to get the puck, and then did it go in, didn't it go in? It looked like it might have just got across the line, or it looked like it might have stayed on the red line. So, of course, in a game of craziness and crazy bounces, that Gensel's able to get one that threw hard off by messing up the first time and then being able to shoot it, and now you have a bounce go their way again when it comes to Latang. And then on if that puck got in or not there. But the big key in this game is Carter Hart stepped up and he played like the Carter Hart. We want him to play as and we know and love and know he can be. He was the main reason, the big kahuna, the star of this game for the Flyers as far as I'm concerned. The reason they got to being at the end. The other guy that played the best in this game that was up on his skates was Travis Konechny. He had a couple chances there. He had one in the end of the game too from G to be able to try to take the lead. But they weren't able to get it done. The Flyers did not really play good offensively, though, in this game after the tail end of the first period. They just didn't get any of the high percentage chances compared to the Penguins, where Carter Hart bailed them out time and time again. Travis Konechny had a beautiful goal in front of the net to go to a positive for a second. But this is really a game, if you look at it, the Flyers were able to come away with one point, and this is a game I'm glad we were able to come away with one point because the stats are deceiving. If you look at this game, Pittsburgh got a bunch of the bigger chances. Carter Hart had 16 saves in just the second period alone. He was the MVP of that period and the MVP of the game for the Flyers. They wouldn't have got into OT if it wasn't for Carter Hart and his ability to be able to shut down Pittsburgh. So we're 2-1-1 one, one on the road this season now, looking to be able to carry... Um, this point momentum streak we have at least starting now into playing the Capitals in Washington this week. And the Flyers need to be wiser. They need to be more clean. This was a game where you would have a good shift and then about three off ones, a good shift, three off ones. That Carter Hart kept bailing you out. You're going to have to be a lot more efficient and a lot more clean against a healthy Capitals team where you looked like this against a Pittsburgh team that didn't have their best skaters due to the COVID protocol and due to injury. So this is a game that I'm just happy the Flyers were able to walk away with a point out of the scale, to be honest. And Carter Hart was the MVP of this game with, obviously, for the Penguins, I would have to give it to Chris Letang because he did get counted for that goal as a star of the game. And then you have to give it to Travis Konechny for the Flyers. The other guy here, he was still buzzing on the ice, was able to get one, not score on the other in the slot there in the third period. But it was a good game from TK and Carter Hart, but overall for the Flyers, and a good game from a fourth line. Zach McEwen looked really good in this game as well. Uh, he was a player that definitely stood out. But it just wasn't a good game overall. Not enough consistent offensive player. It was two or three off shifts, and then you would have an on shift for one or two, then two or three, four off shifts again. You can't have that, especially going into playing Washington next game. I look for the Flyers to kind of learn from this game and grow from this game because you were able to get the one point, but you can't look at this as, yes, we got the one point, let's just move on. You need to take what you didn't do well in this game and do it well against the Capitals. Watch the film and adjust to play that Capitals team because after, especially after the Gensel goal, the Flyers did not have really that much octane chances. They took advantage of a mistake and Launch was able to even up the game there and he's been playing very well too. But they didn't play a good, clean overall game in this game. They were able to escape because of Carter Hart with one point. So that is something that is very good in this one and something that we are very happy about in that realm. But overall, the Flyers need to look better this Saturday against the Capitals. So this has been a reaction to the Flyers 3-2 to two loss to the Pittsburgh Penguins after a crazy bounces in this game and craziness going on throughout the game. You then have a ridiculous, weird goal that did it go in, did it not at the end of the game to end it for Chris Letang to be able to win it for the Pittsburgh Penguins and beat our Flyers 3-2. to two. This has been Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric. The reaction to the Flyers 3-2 to two loss to Pittsburgh. Subscribe down below on the easy-to-use like widget up above if you enjoy the content. Let's go, Flyers. Let's play a good full game and bounce back against the Capitals.